What's up, y'all? Man, that stream yesterday was terrible for on my end as far as the audio goes. Like, the headphones didn't want to connect right. The sound sounded terrible. It was all low. It was high pitch. It was low pitch. It was just a disaster. It didn't cut me off this time. The video didn't just cut off randomly. It just... I don't know. I might make a rec excuse me. I might just make a regular video this week, man, of the recap. I just might just do that, man, because I'm tired of that. Or I might just get some different headphones. I don't know. I'm gonna try I'm gonna try some different headphones to see if that's gonna work. But anyway, the Lions destroyed the Jacksonville Jaguars 40 to 14, and that was just a massacre. Um er ever since that Travis Etienne run that one run he had, it was early, it was like the third play of the game or something like that. He fumbled that <laughs> he fumbled the ball. And game over right there. It was over. Lions scored down there on every drive. Not even exaggerating. I don't even think we punted yesterday. That was terrible. And we all thought the Jaguars were scare us. Man, the Lions came in there and pummeled them. They fucking destroyed the Jaguars. <laughs> man, they really is trying to make a push to the playoffs, man. They trying to make a statement. Like, we going to try to make it to, to the playoffs, man. We trying hard. And Jared Goff played good yesterday. He threw an absolute dot down the field to, D, uh, T, uh, to DJ Chart. My goodness. He threw an absolute dot to him. He threw a dot. That was amazing. That was amazing. Goff had two touchdowns. Ugh, it's a fucking, it's a fucking mi mice and shit. Mm -mm. It's mice in the street. But anyway, as I was saying, that that game was awesome, man. But <laughs> Jaguars kept turning it over. Trevor Lawrence he got injured. Well, he was he was out for some plays. James Houston, the problem, sacked Trevor Lawrence. Trevor Lawrence was under pressure all game long. They was tearing his ass up. And again, <laughs> he was getting pressure after pressure after pressure. He was getting popped. He was getting sacked. His receivers couldn't catch the ball either due to they choking or they just couldn't flat out catch the football. <laughs> but either way, they just it just was they was completely out of sync yesterday. And the crowd noise for Detroit Lions, it just, it made it worse for them. It did. Some people said the Jaguars would come in and kill us, and that didn't happen at all. Um, I'm surprised they was, they were favored against the Lions. I don't know how they were favored by a point. I don't know why. Because the Lions dismantled them. <laughs> the Lions had completely dismantled them. They got beat by 26 points, bro. They got killed. <laughs> they got smoked. For real. And honestly, the Lions could have scored more points if they really wanted. They could have put up 50 if they really wanted to. If they really wanted to. They could have put up 50 on them if they wanted to. But they they slowed the game down. They didn't want to score no more, I guess. And honestly, that last touchdown the Jaguars got, that was in garbage time. <laughs> that was in garbage time. So really, the game would have been like, well, 4 to 7 that was a massacre. That was a massacre. That's the best game they played all season. As far as the team. Dan Campbell didn't call no stupid calls. He ain't mismanaged the clock. None of that. He ain't made no stupid mistakes. And we we only had one penalty throughout the whole day. One. One penalty. But I'm mad about what I'm mad about. There's one thing I'm mad about, though. Excuse me. It's one thing I might I'm mad about. The Giants and the the commanders, man. Come on. Come on. They gonna tie the game. So like we so our records don't be suffered. Our records can't be suffered. It's gonna make it even harder for the Lions to make the playoffs because they tied. It also can make it easier for them to make the playoffs as well. It depends on what happens in the next couple weeks. We gon' tie the game. We gon' tie the game. I was so 
so mad when they tie that damn game, dog. Like, dog, this is some bullshit. <laughs> I'm like, come on, bro. Come on. Come on, man. Come on. For real. Come on. And honestly, right now, the Lions is the, they like a game and a half out of being the final wild card team right now. We need one of them bastards to lose, man. For real. We need one of them to lose to have a chance to get to the postseason. And Minnesota, Vice Clowns, they're next. We gotta we gotta get revenge for uh, week four, man. That shit was an embarrassment. That game really pissed me off. I think it was week four or week three. I'm, I'm I can't quite remember. I think it was week three or week four. It was one of them. I think it was week four. Then we played the Vice Clowns. Um, they won on literally. They had a game winning drive against. Well, not a drive. They had a game winning play against us because Dan Campbell mismanaged the clock. He kept going for it on fourth down in our own territory and all this other dumb shit he was doing. Calling some of the dumbest fucking calls I ever seen in my goddamn life. He was calling this shit like Madden. I was getting mad as hell, like, man, you better stop this bullshit. Yo, I want your ass fired, man. You better you better stop calling this bullshit. Cause when he called the timeout, he gave Minnesota this basically the timeout for them too. So you giving them extra time to dial up a play and it you it, you suffered a loss. It was your biggest downfall by calling that timeout. You should have never called that timeout. You gave them extra opportunities. You gave them an extra chance. And honestly, the defense is about to get their ass off the field. The defense is about to literally get their ass off the field, and you call that stupid ass timeout, and it gave them an extra chance to go down the, to go score points, and it, it cost you the game. We can't have that bullshit this week. We cannot have no bullshit. I don't give a damn what the Vic Clowns records is. I don't give a fuck. I'm not scared of the Vikings at all. They don't scare me. I don't care they nine and two or whatever. They don't the Vikings do not scare me, bro. They don't. They just don't. They the most flukish nine and two team I ever seen in my life. Or ten and two, whatever the hell they is right now. <laughs> ten and two, nine and two. Whatever. Whatever. I I think they're flukes, man. I don't believe in them, man. I'm sorry. I think the Lions can beat them. I think they I think we are gonna beat them. I don't think Dan Cowell gonna make the same mistake he did against them the last time. I don't see it happening. And you go back and watch that game, the Lions was dominating their ass. The Lions was beating them the majority of the game. <laughs> you go back and watch it. Lions just made one or too many dumb calls. It just cost you the game, bro. This game, we got to come out there and punch them in the mouth. We got to punch them in the mouth. I'm not scared of the Vikings, man. They they got their ass blasted by the Cowboys. That right there was just a... That was disrespectful. <laughs> they got blasted, boy. Yeah, they, they barely beat the Buffalo Bills. Barely. If it wasn't for Buffalo making one or two miscues, and they they want to, I mean, they won a lot of close games this year. I think the Lions can give it to the Minnesota man, that, but Dan Campbell he can't be the reason why we lose. He cannot make us lose this game. Dan Campbell got to be on his P's and Q's at all times. No dumbass pen, no dumbass going for it on fourth down in your own territory bullshit. No fucking, we don't need field goal kickers missing field goals and all this stupid shit. We don't need, you know, timeouts at the wrong time. Or or we don't need you not to call a timeout when you need to call a timeout. You know, shit like that. That That's the kind of shit he does sometimes. And it really, it's, it's, it irritates the shit out of me. But <clears throat> we don't need no more bullshit against the Minnesota Vikings. Now, like I said, the Jaguars is a stepping stone. Now, we need to... We need to dial up another win because I think the two hardest games on the schedule left is next week against the White Clowns and the New York Jets. Everybody else I'm not scared of at all. The Jets don't even scare me no more. They they fell off a cliff. <laughs> yeah, they won the other day, but honestly, I mean, come on. They fell off a cliff to me. They, they ain't that good, bro. They still got a good defense, but they too inconsistent.
They inconsistent as hell. The rest of the teams don't scare me. The Panthers don't scare me at all. The Packers don't scare me. They suck. <laughs> they trash. The Bears don't scare me. They trash. The Packers don't scare me. They trash. The Panthers don't scare me. They trash. The the Jets, they got a good, they got a decent record, but they don't scare me. Like, I don't know. The Lions got to make a way to win this game at all costs. It doesn't matter what you do, win the game. And that's pretty much what I got to say about this. Let me know what you think in the comment section about this game and the next game. I'm well. I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna get more into the preview uh, later on, but. That's pretty much it, man. More of a clear insight on what I had to say because my live stream had done me no justice.